Coming features, how do you see the team progression for? Yeah, it's going to be um, very hard games, uh, but that's what uh, we need in you know, we're getting into the, the World Cup qualifications again and, uh, you know, trying to prepare for Asian Cup as well. So these are the type of games uh, that we need to play to test ourselves, to test ourselves not only individually but as a team and see where our weaknesses lie and, and where our strengths lie as well. So um, these will be used to, uh, for the coaching staff and also the players to gain an understanding of, of where we're at and what we need to do to improve. Far away from National Stadium, how do you see the, 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 the challenge. Yeah, of course, it's going to be a challenge playing overseas. We're always, you know, very good uh, in Booker Jalil with our fans and, and everyone cheering us on. But again, you know, when it comes to uh, the, the Asian Games, we're going to be overseas as well uh, on different fields. And, and um, it's a chance for us to get used to that, used to the pressure of not being in our home country. And uh, hopefully we can do Malaysian fans proud and, and, and give our all for the country. Brendan, uh, do you think against China and Syria is a physical game? I think it will be. I think it will be quite physical. Um, they have quite big boys and, and uh, they're quite good in uh, their set pieces and whatnot. So, um, yeah, it will be a bit physical. But again, you know, we need to concentrate on ourselves and uh, how we want to play. Um, you know, the coaching staff have given us all the information on how we want to play. And then uh, the, the background staff has, has given us all the videos of what we need to learn about the opposition as well. So, um, you know, we will be well versed in what Syria and China can do. And hopefully we can use those, uh, that information to benefit us in the games. As one of the senior players in the squad, how do you influence the new guys? Yeah, one of the, the senior player in the squad, uh, I think it is. But, um, you know, I, I've always been that person that wants to help others around me and um, I've always been that team orient orientated person. Um, you know, there are individuals in the team that you need to use their different attributes and, and assets to, you know, get results. But again, we're, we're a team and we need to help each other and support each other and, uh, you know, that's what I'll be doing out there. I'll, I'll be trying to motivate players, I'll be trying to lead. Um, no matter what the occasion is, and um, hopefully be able to uh, perform at the same time. Uh, do you believe this is the best squad that we have now? Um, I think there are so many good players in Malaysia that anyone really can come in and, and do a job. Um, I think that's what the, the good thing about the players in Malaysia and also the Super League has shown this year, is that there are quality players out there and whoever steps in um, can do the job. And, and hopefully the squad that we have right now it's a strong squad and hopefully we can we can get the job done as well. Is there a possibility of us seeing you play a centre back again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I think that's a question for the coach. But again, you know, I'll be ready to play anywhere that the coach wants me to play. Um, if I have to put the gloves on, I'll put the gloves on. So uh, I'm that type of player and, and hopefully, um, you know, whether it's on the bench, whether it's starting, whether it's coming off the bench, um, you know, whether it's just supporting the players from the, the stands, um, I'll do my very best. Uh, to be able to influence the team in a positive way. Brendan, how do you see uh, your thoughts on our midfield department right now? Yeah, it's a strong midfield. Um, there are also, I, I feel, some players that, that haven't even come on this uh, camp that have been, uh, you know, I guess, in the running to be here as well. So um, there's always that challenge, but I think it, that's what the Malaysia team needs, that challenge of, of who can be uh, the starting 11, who can come on and, and change the game. So. I think um, it's a great opportunity for players to show what they can do and uh, also to uh, get ready for the World Cup qualifiers and the Asian Cup. In preparation against teams that are ranked uh, in the top 100, is there any difference in the tactical or is there any like different things that Kim Pangona has stressed on? Um, I, think, I think that uh, Coach Kim and, and the staff that he have has do an extremely good job in what they do in terms of finding information that the normal person wouldn't find and uh, finding tactical ways to be able to outplay the other team or, or turn the game in our favour. Um, so the work that they do, they change almost every camp. But again, you know, we have to be able to adapt and learn and, and be focused on what they want us to do. And uh, if we can do what they want us to do with the information they provide, then for sure we will have positive results. Okay, Brendan, if I'm not mistaken, the last time you scored for the national team was in 2019. So it's been a while. Mm -hmm. Does that bother you at all? Or? 
no, I don't care who scores goals as long as we win the game uh, at the end of the day. It doesn't matter, you know, a lot of people talk about the strikers or the, or the, the wingers or, you know, the attacking people being, you know, scoring the goals and, and having influence on the game. But again, you know, if I do my job and I win those balls and I, I give the ball to the, the people that can score the goals, then, then that's all I need to do. Again, it's a team, team sport. We all need to help each other, and at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who scores, as long as we win the game. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank